What's up guys? I got out here five pretty unique Coca-Cola coins. Let's see what I'm talking about. Oh wow, looks like they give me a couple of gifts. This is a couple rounds. We look at it at the end. I bought it on eBay. Sometimes the seller give you extra item whenever you buy a lot of stuff. But not always happens like that. That's very appreciated by a seller. This one says Japan. So let's see. I have right here another one and one more. Oops. It doesn't matter. That's what's important. So we got here silver collectible coin, pure silver legal tender, and it should tell us the country. But let's just open it up and see what's inside. Boom, looks like one of those Coca-Cola tubs. Oops. What language is that? Can you guys help me out? Certificate of Authenticity, uh, metal 999 found silver, proof 6 grams and 2020 uh, Fuji, Reserve Bank of Fuji, $1. Oh, right here, it says Taiwan. World Edition Taiwan. There you go. And there you go. There is your little coin over here. How cool is that? It's inside of a plastic, but it doesn't really matter because it's inside, it's inside of the case too. And this is a six gram, uh, one coin, one dollar, Fiji 2020, and the Coca-Cola is in Taiwanese. That's pretty unique. And by the way, the reason why I'm wearing gloves because you don't want to put some fingerprints or, in, or anything like that because the best it stays in the quality, the better resale value will be. So in a way it's like an investment, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. That white box doesn't really matter, but you want to take care of this box right here. What language is that? Same thing right here. What the edition? Oh, there you go. It says Japan. This one says Taiwan. So let's see what this one is going to look like. This is going to be in Japanese. Boom. Same thing. This one 409. Does it tell you the maximum mintage? It does not. This one didn't come in plus. Yes, it did. Let's open it and see what it looks like. Again, Fuji 6 gram 2020, very beautiful coin, uncirculated, and it's, a, I guess, it says Coca Cola in Japanese. Is that what it says? Let me know in the comments below. So I guess they want to keep it in the plastic so that way you don't even scratch up the case. Because those cases is very unique. I'm sure it's kind of hard to buy them. So again, limited edition Japan over here. Let's see what else we have. Um, wow, this one is a little bit different. Pure silver, legal tender. Oh, I guess it's in different language as well, even on the box. Okay, interesting. Let's see what's inside. Come on, open up a box. Does it say right here? Oh wow, this one, 33,000 of them looks like. This is the number of them. So this one is 2018. So there's a lot more of them. Oh, because this is just an American one. You see a regular Coca-Cola one. Beautiful, right? On the inside of it, it's Fuji. One dollar, nine 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 silver, and all that good stuff. So this is the American one. So obviously the mintage will be very high on those ones, because a lot of people want American ones, I guess. And let's see what this one is. I think this is also World Edition, and this is Russia. There you go. Of course I'm gonna get Russian. It's so awesome that they did Russia as well. I think there's other countries too. I just got a few, for example, Peti uh, Coca-Cola, 
товарные знаки, so product symbol, something like that, pretty cool, world edition, Russia, oops, uh, this is 965, does not tell you maximum vintage, but that's okay, so let's take this out, and this is the same thing right here, it's inside of this layer cover, and it says Coca-Cola in Russian, kind of cool. Usually Coca-Cola is not translated, but I remember. That's pretty awesome though. What do you guys think? Let's put this away. There's a one more thing I got. This one is not six gram. This one is actually one ounce. Let's zoom in on this one. But it's kind of a bad quality. That's why it was a lot cheaper. You really want to take care of these coins. Limited edition coins because people keep them as a collector's item. So this one didn't come in a case. And that's why it has quite a few scratches. So that's so sad. That is not a amazing quality, but it looks like one of those bottle tubs. And this is one ounce, two dollar, Fiji 2018 coin, 999 fine silver. You see it says one ounce on it. But again, because it has few scratches out here, it's not going to be as collectible and this is why it's probably scratched up because it was inside of this random case so it doesn't really fit in it that well that's why I like this one it has a case but nevertheless I thought I would show it to you weird um, bottle cups silver so like a fallout video game you know in a fallout video games you use bottle cups as a legal tender, there you go, this is silver legal tender bottle cups, world edition. Which one do you guys like? There's a Japan, Russia and Taiwan, super cool. Oh, there's another one, regular Coca-Cola, English. There's uh, two copper coins that was uh, included for free. They probably few dollars for both of them, it's just copper. Copper is only two dollars or three dollars per pound. But they go free gift. Some people still like to collect those. So that's cool. Got it here, a package from Bill and Exchange. It's pretty good uh, store on eBay and also you can use .com. I usually buy it from eBay, but I think from a store you can pay a little bit less. So let's see what's in here. I have no idea, I completely forgot. I buy so much stuff. A lot of times I have to open it to figure it out what it is. It's obviously coin or silver. No way. Yeah, this is silver. And I think this is a basketball coin. And guess what? This is the shape of a ball coin. This is so weird. I figured I'll show it to you guys. For those people who love basketball and day and such. Let's see what this is all about. I think I have another one. This is just one of them. There you go, basketball spherical coin. How cool is that? And as you can see, it is actual looks like basketball. That is insane. How does this come off? Oh yeah, goes down like that, except you have to kind of lift up the box, otherwise it's sticking out a little bit, as you can see. So you go lift up the box, wait. Slide it out, lift up the box, and boom, it's already set up inside of this I would say some kind of plastic but there you go there's a little coin what it says five dollars one ounce fine silver and it says on the side over here 2020 and what does it say over here Samoa coin spherical basketball shape five dollar coin how crazy is that? That is a definitely one of a kind weird coin over here. And it comes in display so you can set it up and it looks good right away. Pretty awesome. Even you can keep it in a box. It's still going to look pretty cool to explain in what it is. Basketball spherical coin vintage 2020. That's kind of funny because it's 2020 so they minted only 2020 of them. And it's uh, finished 24 
cut out gold plated. I was wondering why it looks like gold, but obviously not pure gold, just gold plated, mostly silver. Pretty awesome. Got right here another very weird coin. It is actual coin by Perth Mint, Australia. So let's open it up and see what it's all about. So board to own silver colored coin. So. Boom. Very nice Perth Mint package. Looks like a little bit played with. Couple scratches on it. I bought it on auction, so actually underpaid for what people buy for them. Uh, looks like there is a 1941. This is the actual number of this one. Maximum mintage only 2500. That's good. And we already know this is four nines and all the good stuff. There you go. Beautiful. Comes in this awesome case, so that way you can. Just stayed up, display it out of the box, put it on the mantle and stuff like that. If you wanna kinda play with it, open it very carefully. We have very, very strong neodymium magnets. And then we can take this out. And yeah, this is actually legal tender. Elizabeth II, Australia, two ounce, four nines, A, G, dollars So this is, actual two Australian dollars. You can go and buy a loaf of bread or whatnot with this money. But of course it's worth a way more money. They sell for around $150. This is just super cool. It has a P on it and look at that. That's beautiful. It has this big wave with the beach. Oh man, that's so awesome. Don't you guys think? So yeah, beautiful coin. That's for sure. I love the back of a design as well with all these waves, 2020. So yeah, let's put it back away. See how hard it is. Probably not very hard. So let me know in comments below if you wanna see more very unique coins like that that is very, very weird shape. And also, they have a little note over here usually explaining about it. That's kind of unique. If you guys are interested to read about it, you can pause the video and read it. But yeah, there you go. Go put it away. Another very strange coin over here. Usually, we're so used to round coins, but this looks like a surfboard. Imagine you had a bunch of this and they would be in your pocket and you would be going and actually spending that. It'll be too big. But yeah, there you go. Take care of it because uh, this is definitely very collectible, very limited edition. Perth meat is awesome. A lot of people collect Perth meat stuff. So it might be a good investment because after a few years or many years, people will play with them, drop and burn them, fall them you know they're gonna be in a bad quality and if you have the best condition one maybe have a little bit extra money than the other ones but yeah not super historical coin just very very unique that's for sure got something really cool in the mail let's see another limited edition uh, coin but this time is gold uh, let's see what this one is all about this one came from upmax Boom. So the blue spool, remember I just showed you the silver one? Well, this one is gold. A lot more expensive. You got right here, everything about it. And it's one ten of an ounce, 999, four nines, fine silver. And this is Cook Island, $20, 2020 coin. That is beautiful. So let's open this little thing. I wish it was in something much better than just uh, wax paper, but it is what it is. Let's open it up, see what it's ab about. Wow, this thing is tiny. Silver one is way bigger, and for obvious reason, silver is way cheaper. This is one ten of an ounce coin, the blue spoon, Jola T Blue. I guess the inventor of it, legendary. Luva, that's what it says on this side of the coin. And whenever we flip it over, 
let's see, it's really hard to see, it's so tiny. 110 ounce AU 4 nines. And then it says Elizabeth II, $20, Cook Iceland, 2020. So this is super, super unique coin, legal tender, spendable. But yeah, gold is obviously not as fun as silver because it's so dear tiny. The silver one is really big and wide. You could probably see in my videos that I showed you a while back. Maybe I'll just run the other video as well because I don't have it on me, the silver one. But this is so unique. What do you guys think? I'm gonna cover it up. Again, I wish it was some kind of case to it so you could actually handle it. I don't want to handle it because it will lose some of the value. So I guess I'll just cover this back up like that. So yeah, definitely not the best display, but I love the box. It has a red box. Oh yeah, always forget to put this back in. But yeah, you could actually fish with that because there is actual hook at the end of it. Pretty amazing, isn't it? So I'll run the other video of silver one for those people who have not seen it. But yeah, there you go. There's the silver, the blue spoon, and the gold one. And gold one way smaller. So let's unbox it. Let's look at actual coin. You guys are gonna be very surprised what it is. And I bet all the people who love fishing will want one of these. You know, silver is not about just stuck in silver. You can collect, gift some unique pieces like that. They are a lot more expensive than just stuck in generic silver. But let me show you what this is. Okay. A lot of people already know. This is like a little fishing lure. Wow, that's a lot heavier and thicker than I thought. When I was buying it online, I really thought it's going to be very, very skinny piece. Uh, I should be wearing gloves because you don't want to scratch it up because it has collectability value and look at that. Julio T. Blue. Legendary lure. You see? It says on the coin and I guess that's a maker of this lure face, portrait, whatever. There's a big hook. Uh, the hook is still hook, actually fishable, I'm pretty sure. This uh, thing right here is, is also uh, still the only silver is this and what's insane this is actual coin half an ounce ag.39 you see the top layer it says over here and then the bottom over here elizabeth second two dollars cook iceland 2020 so you can go to cook iceland and actually spend it came in and pay for this thing as two dollars so it's a legal tender uh, which is kind of fun it's not just bill and made one it's actual money right here but also those people who love fishing probably can put it on a fishing line and go fish with that uh, the only problem with that if you're gonna lose this thing you're gonna lose hundred dollars because that's how much this thing go for straight up legit silver pure silver 999 half an ounce um, fishing hook right here so if you want to feel fancy you can buy yourself pure silver fishing lure. Love that. So, you know, silver is very, very shiny. And there you go. You probably have a lot more chances to catch and attract fish because it's silver. Anyways, going to wrap it up back into here because I don't really have a good display for this item. And you don't want to scratch it up either. Uh, unless you're never going to sell it because it will lose a lot of value. What's up guys? Today I got something really cool in the package. This side here, gold box, and we will be comparing them to carrot bills. So what is a gold box? It is a 1 1,000th toy ounce 24 carat gold. So this is pretty much spendable gold. You know, if it's one gram of gold, it's $68. What are you going to buy with $68? Well, the idea of this thing is that a very little bit of amount of gold, you can spend it a lot less gold and actually buy just a loaf of bread with that. But 
these things are so popular obviously they worth a lot more than the contents of gold of it also this is not gold plated the gold is sprayed on the inside of it and sealed so it's pretty much unbreakable like plastic it's super nice and gold will not wash away you can actually spend it in utah and even nevada i think so they accept gold bucks so it's kind of cool it's not i don't think it's to replace the american currency i think it's a movement that against the inflation and we should be under the gold and silver standard something like that i'm not 100 percent so anyways there is something else i got right here um let's see what this is all about Boom. This right here is cash gold. How cool is that? In gold we trust. That's really beautiful. Check this out. It feels pretty plasticky. There's a world map. There's some other art. Sheep. And there's some constellation. Is that what it's called? Flowers. Beautiful bills. Let's flip it over. Um, in gold we trust. 0 0.1 gram. Warranty of certification and there's a brand of it and stuff and it says finest gold four nines and something else i can't pronounce one gram i mean 0 0.1 gram that's beautiful feels plasticky let's look at the actual gold stamp why i call it stamp because you see how tiny bar it is it is super super skinny but if you touch it with your finger it definitely has a little bulge to it very very tiny bulge to it I think they have redesigned a little bit. I seen uh, they have different ones. It looks more of a stamp. This one actually looks like a little bar. A wide, I like it. So, one, two, three, four, five of them right here. So, 0 0.1 gram is uh, 100 milligrams. There is a thousand milligrams in one gram. So, we'll have to have 10 of this to have a, a full gram. One gram of uh, gold is about $65 melt value, so we will need 10 of these ones to make it to a uh, one gram. So 10 divided by 65, this each one is around $6. Makes sense, right? So that way you can actually go and spend a loaf of bread. I guess you'll have to buy two of them because it's a uh, one gram. So we probably will have to have a half a gram bill to buy a loaf of bread for 250 or like buy milk and stuff like that so that's kind of cool idea i like the in the grams it's a lot easier to calculate because i don't really understand what is a one one thousand over three ounce how much the gold amount would that be but i guess they could just set the prices and i'm sure there's a calculator so you can calculate the gold back into a real money dollars pretty easily but again these things are pretty collectible people buy them and collect them they don't want to spend them because it has high premium this thing right here sells for around five dollars each even though the gold amount of them way less than the five dollars it costs them a lot more to produce these things than the actual worth of gold I'm not really sure about this ones. I just noticed that they did this and it is carrot pay down here and carrot bars down here it says. It is beautiful shiny bars. Check this out on the bar it says carrot bar. It is everything it has just like a gold bar. Let me know in comments below which one do you like better carrot bars or gold bucks? Gold bucks are kind of unique and beautiful, almost like a video game. It's a bit slippery and I don't know, kind of feels weird and feels like making my hands sweaty because they're so plasticky. This one is not so much, but they both very, very cool bills. Probably will never get rid of them because they're going to be worth more money in the future because it was made, I think, in 2020. I don't think this one has a date. 